dimension of the wheel remains unclear, but the Mesopotamian civilization is credited with the invention of the wheel. The invention of the solid wooden disc wheel falls into the late Neolithic period. Skipping forward to China and the Han Dynasty, we find the earliest wheelbarrows with archaeological evidence in the form of one wheel cart from the second century Han Dynasty, Emperor Hu's tomb murals, and brick tomb reliefs. For centuries, one and two wheel wheelbarrows were used to move personal property, construction materials, mining materials, etc. Imagine making a simple road cut and moving tons of dirt and rock with only picks and shovels and wheelbarrows and carts to move all that dirt and rock. In the 21st century, we have heavy off-road haul trucks that can move anywhere up to 500 tons of material. Today, I want to talk about the Diecast Masters 164 scale model of the CAT 775E heavy haul truck. The 775E is one of a series of heavy haul trucks made by Caterpillar. It is an older truck which Caterpillar has replaced with the 775G heavy haul truck. Heavy haul trucks have been divided into two classes. Both classes are rigid dump trucks. The regular class, which are rated to carry up to 300 tons, and the ultra class, which can carry payloads in excess of 300 tons. I'll talk about an example of each type of class later on. Most large size haul trucks employ two types of powertrains. The first is the conventional diesel engine and gear transmission. Caterpillar uses these on all of their haul trucks. The other type of powertrain is the diesel electric powertrain, using a diesel engine to power a AC alternator or DC generator that sends the electric power over to the electric motors at each rear wheel. An example of the regular class is the CAT 775E a rigid dump truck specifically engineered for the use in high production, small mining and quarrying operations and heavy duty construction projects. The 775E was designed to efficiently move mountains of earth and rock. The 775E had a drivetrain using a CAT 3412E diesel engine capable of producing 730 horsepower. The 775E had plenty of power to move the 70 tons of earth. Similar to other off-highway haul trucks, the 775E had a rigid frame and a conventional steering with the drive at the rear wheels. Like most haul trucks, the 775E is a two-axle design, rigid dump truck with a carrying capacity rated at 70 tons. Wow, 70 tons! Seems like a lot of weight for a two-axle truck to carry. However, there were some manufacturers that made three-axle off-highway dump trucks. Two of the most well-known rigid truck models from the 1970s, the 33-19 T-Rex Titan and the 3200B Wabco, each had three axles. The largest highest payload capacity haul trucks are referred to as ultra class trucks. The ultra class includes all haul trucks with a payload capacity of 300 tons or greater. An example of an ultra class truck is the two axle rigid dump truck is the monster Liebherr T282B. As of October 2013, the Belaz 7510 has the highest payload capacity of 500 tons. The Belaz 7510 is a Russian designed and built off highway truck. The two axle Caterpillar 775E, rated at 70 ton capacity, is a small truck compared to the monster trucks of today, but still a very, very popular size of haul truck. 
let's go on into the quarry to take a closer look at Diecast Masters 164 scale 775E heavy haul rigid dump truck. Here we have the CAT 775E off highway truck. This one's set up in a dump truck configuration and it is in 164 scale to go with the rest of our 64th scale collectibles. Now, 50th scale is the standard scale for construction stuff, but us 64th scale guys have been crying for construction for a long time because nobody seemed to ever really want to make it. Well, Diecast Masters has finally answered our call and made us several pieces in 164 scale. We can now have our construction sites or we can set them up on low boys. We could even set up our own little cat dealership. They've made enough pieces for that now. The real Cat 775E off-highway truck. It has a height of 14 foot 7 inches without load. It has a length of 30 foot 3 inches long. And it has a width of 14 foot 5 inches. Big machine. It also weighs 143,190 pounds. That is empty weight. Its gross weight is 239,000 pounds. Meaning to haul this truck, even with permits, you're going to have to actually take the bed off to put it on a low boy. It is just too heavy a machine in order to haul on one low boy. The 775E is powered with a 3412E Caterpillar diesel engine. And that one puts out a whopping 730 horsepower, giving this truck tons of power to move that great big load of 239,000 pounds. Gross weight. Now there's a fallacy about calling them off-highway trucks. <laughs> they really aren't off-highway. They have to have very well-maintained roads in order to run on them because they really are not very good on dirt. They have to have a good solid rock road and it has to be well maintained and kept pretty much clear of debris in order for these trucks to be able to drive on them and not tear up the tires or sink down in. And these tires are very expensive, so the construction operators don't want to risk them. Now, the Diecast Masters version of the CAT, it features a dumping bed, just like the real ones. It rises up on two pistons, less like that. So you can dump out whatever you put inside it. Also, you can see the detail underneath it and on top of the compartment up here. It features, let's go around to the front here. So you can see the two pistons that hold up the bed. You can even see some of the under chassis detail with the bed up. It's got the handrails that it's supposed to have. It's got the ladders and the handrails there. It's got headlights. Exquisite cat authentic graphics all over this machine, showing them all off. You can see the exhaust and the muffler. Also, you can see the air cleaners here. It's got the mirror over here, and it's got a detailed cab interior with two seats inside that cab. As we turn them around, you see more. There's the fuel tank or hydraulic tank. Getting around to the back side here, you see the rear suspension, which is just replicated. It doesn't actually work, but you can see the brake lights, the rear differential, and all the parts. We turn them over. And you can see the detailed steering mechanism in this guy. And it actually works. As you can see, you see the drive shaft, the rear differential, and the rear axle. Also, on this one, you can see the authentic tread pattern tires. The tires are a soft rubber material, and the wheels are plastic. The cab, the chassis, and body are Almost all die cast. Also, so is the bed. Many of the accessory parts, the little detail parts, they are plastic as you would expect. 
Isn't that awesome? Now you could set up a good uh, rock quarry or mining set on your layout because you got an ore truck to haul the ore out. And if you add in the 988H cat wheel loader that Diecast Masters made in 64 scale, you've got a great little set right there. It'll show off well in a rock quarry or it'll make a very nice mining layout. Aren't these trucks really cool? I'm so glad that Diecast Masters made us a 64 scale rigid off-highway haul truck so we could build a large construction site diorama or a small to mid-size mining operation diorama. I've wanted to replicate a mine for so long, but couldn't find the right size trucks. So thank you, Diecast Masters. You can get one of these great 64 scale Caterpillar trucks on my website, link in the description below. Also, you can buy lots of other 64 scale Caterpillar and Komatsu construction items with another link in the description. I've got to head on out of the quarry and back to the Southside Warehouse. So I'll wrap up today's video by asking you to please subscribe to my channel, give it a great big thumbs up, and share it with your friends and your followers. I'll be back with another video on my regular schedule.